Hello and welcome. My name is Ben Plazier and with this video I will show you how to install and use Bootstrap SAS files to easily enhance the development of your website. For this purpose I've created a Git repository at github.com forward slash wapler forward slash bootstrap underscore src. You will need the address to clone the repository to your project. Choose Clone or Download and click the Copy to clip Clipboard button. We can now close the GitHub page. In Wepler, create a new project. I have called it Bootstrap Test but you can use the name of your project. Create a folder for your project. For the Git repository, paste the URL from the GitHub page. When the save button is clicked, there will be some background activity where the repository is transferred to your project. Open the project folder to see what has happened. Open the terminal window, type npm install in order to install our package which includes gulp and various utilities. Press enter to start the process. For the video I have sped the process up. In fact it will take some time during which Wappler becomes very sluggish. Once the prompt appears it is best to restart Wappler. OK, I have restarted Wappler. Open the project folder. Here we see that the process has added an extra folder containing node modules. This folder must never be uploaded to the live site. It is only used in development. Open the project setting panel. Choose the server model. Add the frameworks. Make sure to choose Bootstrap Local. Create the target. Save the settings. Now create a new file called index.html. Open the file and you will notice that our frameworks have been added for us. We'll add a few elements to our document making sure that it includes a main element. This is because I have included style rules that allow the main element to extend to the full available height. Open the terminal window and type gulp watch. This will tell the gulp 
compiler to watch any changes made in our SES source files. Notice how the footer has been relegated to the bottom of our document. This is because of the styled main element pushing the footer down. Open the layout SES file where you can see the added style rules. When we have a look at the compiled Bootstrap CSS, we see that the style rules have been added to the style sheet. Back in our index file, we'll add a few buttons to briefly illustrate the power that we have been given. Give each button a background colour. Open my variables SES file. This file is an exact copy of the bootstrap variables SES file, but with most of the style rules remarked out. The rules that have been laid bare are those that have to do with system colors. Let's see what happens when we change the color blue. After changing the colour, we save the file, at which time we see some movement in the terminal window. Back in our main document, we see the colour change. Let's make a few more changes and see the effect. Not only system colour changes are easy to make, think of what can be done with other parts of the framework. When doing this, always make sure to remove the default when making a style rule live. One other part that may be noteworthy is the grid. Here we can easily change the number of columns and the breakpoints at which the columns are activated. Last but not least, to stop Gulp from watching our files, tap into the terminal window and use Ctrl C and enter Y. To make sure that you do not run into problems later on, detach your project from the GitHub page. That is the end of this how-to. 
If you are interested in seeing your own version of the Bootstrap JavaScript file, please leave a note below. With enough interest, I will gladly update the repository and this video. Thank you for watching.